What's going on guys and gals, my name is Bryson from Beastness Games and I'm doing a loot crate box opening today because that's never been done before, right? I mean, if you want original content, I'm sure you can go find a YouTube video somewhere about big YouTubers arguing about who doesn't and do have chins. But hey, for here, I'm just more worried about what I got this month in Loot Crate's gaming box issue. So, slice that open, open that up. And first thing I see is something I really like because it's a Vault Boy t shirt. I oh, probably should hold it so you can see it. But it's the Vault Boy from Fallout with every single emotion from like all the skill trees and everything. So that's pretty cool. After that, we have, uh, okay, Gears of War 4 is coming out here in like three days. And it's a little small boxy Roni here. Boxer only, it's not a word, that's me just trying to be clever at this point. Opening up that sucker. We have a okay, this looks pretty sick. Let this be is this a keychain? It's damn it, I can't think what the name of this fucking weapon is. But I know it's the weapon from Gears of War with the chainsaw at the end of it. And it's a Oh, okay. It's so it's a little stand, so you have to did I fuck it up? Oh, no, no. Maybe. Maybe. Hold on. Hey, There you go. That's... The... Damn it, I can't think what the name of this damn weapon is. Chainsaw Rifle is what I'm gonna call it. Fuck it. After that... Dead Rising 4. Some little small box in that. Maybe playing cards? Nah, it's not, it's not big enough for playing cards. Ah, oh, come on, please. Don't rip. I'm one of those people who get anal about the packagings. Save all your Christmas present packaging. There we go. Oh, it's uh Oh wow. It's a multi-tool. Frank West. I never played Gears of War. I never played Dead Rising 4, so I don't know. That's probably the name of the main character, I'm assuming. But that's basically what it is. It's a little small little keychain. No, multi-tool. From the game. A little flashlight into that okay that's cool I mean even next time I need to fix something up with a multi school I can keep my gamerness bring it with me lock that up let's see what are the goodies that we have in here another box it's a box within a box within a box and this is it says battle zone 1980 on it I don't know I don't know what the hell that is it looks like some kind of old-fashioned gaming version of something. Something you see like in an old-style arcade. You won't be seeing shit if I don't realize how to get the box open. Oh, buddy! Mmm. <laughs> Guilty pleasure. Mmm. This is, uh... Some shot glasses. So you can definitely tell what kind of people loot crate... Alright, no, you can definitely guess what kind of people Loot Crate think are getting the stuff. Shit, I can't speak. You can definitely guess what kind of people are getting Loot Crates if they consider shot glasses an appropriate gift. Not bad. Now, the last one is... Ooh, is this a... Is this a comic? It says, Dark Souls, The Legends of the Flame. Like, a. Uh... Some kind of comic? I mean, some kind of comic. Obviously, it's a fucking comic. But. You know what? I'm not gonna open this. Because if I've known anything, packaging makes the value. So, we'll look through that later. After that is a. A Battleground, September 2016. I'm not sure, maybe that's a Battlefield reference or what, but it's just a little pin. Hmm. Now this uh, thing here at the very bottom. I don't know what this is. Okay, some kind of poster. Fold that open. And fold this open. Ugh, look. 
Battleground. Fierce conflicts, epic fields of war, and large in life heroes all would make up the franchise in this month's Battleground Such a Blast. Oh, that's the theme is Battleground. Years of War Clance L Lancer. That's what the fucking thing was called. It's a Battle Zone is considered one of the first virtual reality arcade games, so it's pretty awesome that it got made during this current time. Okay, so that's what the shot glasses are. That's the whole digital little battle zone. Apparently it was made in the 1980s, so that's like one of the first, I guess, sort of battlefield games. Why do I have Dead Rising? It's a survival horror game, maybe that's why. Huh. Alrighty. Yeah, that's all this is. There's a full rundown of what all came in the loot crate. This is probably the best part of the video, considering you can no longer see my face, and all you see is the stuff that you see in the loot crate. I'll do this. You just do I have a chin, or do I not have a chin? You'll never know, but... Fuck you anyways. I think that's it. Yeah, there's nothing else in the box. Alright, yeah, that's my first Loot Crate opening video. Uh, just started getting these things this month, and I've seen tons of videos on them on YouTube. So, figured I'd get them a try myself and see if they got anything cool, and so far, I'm not disappointed. If you guys like what you see in these little quick videos, you can go to Loot Crate's site and use uh, the access code that's going to be right there on the bottom. It doesn't fucking exist, because, I don't know, it's your money. Why should I get a portion of it? Go to Loot Crate, you can buy the boxes for yourself. There's tons of discount codes out there. You can use them from a famous YouTuber, or there's some you can pull up online. And you can get your first box pretty cheap. And that's what I do, I get it month by month. And that's pretty cool. The whole battle round theme this month. Can't wait to see what I get this ne next month. And maybe I won't stutter as much, but hey. Tourette's hit hard. Hits hard. Hits hard. Tourette's hits hard. Tourette's hits hard. No chin, Tourette's hits hard. Chin. See you next time, guys.